Thanks for your time today. So maybe first of all, you could like, would like to introduce yourself to our audiences. Hello from Queensland. My name is Anastasia Palaszczuk and I am the Premier of this wonderful state of Queensland. And it is indeed my pleasure to be speaking to you today, uh, to your family and your friends about everything you wanted to know about Queensland and why you should come here and enjoy an absolutely wonderful holiday. Maybe first of all, you could, would like to just introduce a bit about the state of Queensland, some of, of its features. Oh, well, we have a wonderful state here. We have about 4.8 million people who live in Queensland. And it is an absolutely um, magnificent place uh, to visit, to live, uh, to raise a family, to study and to invest in. Uh, it is a huge state. It covers uh, large territories. Uh, from way out west of uh, Birdsville and Longreach, uh, which is considered to be the outback, to our beautiful coastal towns, uh, stretching from as far north as the Torres Strait, down to Cairns and the beautiful majestic Great Barrier Reef, further down the coast to Rockhampton, our beef capital, and I know how much everyone loves Australian and especially Queensland beef, way down to the Sunshine Coast, to Brisbane, our capital, and our beautiful Gold Coast down to the south with our most beautiful beaches, which I believe are the best in the world. This state is often called as the Sunshine State. Maybe you can tell us a bit more about the weather, the natural environment here? Well, it's called the Sunshine State because nearly every day there's sunshine. Yeah. But of course, you know, we do get rain and uh, we have a beautiful climate here uh, in Queensland. So you can swim at Queensland beaches all year round, whether it's uh, summer or winter. It is a beautiful environment. It's a pristine environment. Uh, we have world-class national parks and our beautiful Great Barrier Reef. And we have millions of tourists that come to Queensland each and every year to explore our national parks, explore our outback, uh, our wide open plains, and to dive on our immaculate Great Barrier Reef. Queensland is one, one of the top um, popular destinations for Chinese tourists. And maybe you can introduce us a bit more about some of the famous um, tourist attractions. Oh, well, we would like to see uh, more Chinese families and tourists come here uh, to Queensland. Uh, just last year, we had around 350,000 people who visited Queensland and that's 13% more than the previous year. But we would like to see more people come here. Why is it a good place to visit? Because it's safe. Number one, it's safe. Number two, uh, the people. Our people are warm and friendly. And thirdly, uh, we have a great natural landscape. And fourthly, we also have great food. And I know how important it is to go and have a wonderful meal. You can have a barbecue on the beach. You can dine in the outback. It is just a, a wonderful place to visit. Talk about the world famous Great Barrier Reef. I know that now there are some issues with the um, environment, ecosystem. Do you think um, there's really an issue about that? And what has been done to help with this? Yeah. Well, my government's, uh, one of our top priorities is to maintain the beauty of the Great Barrier Reef. Um, there is nothing more amazing than diving or snorkeling on the barrier reef to see the, the fluorescent colors, you get the orange, the, um, the blue, the fish, the tropical fish, uh, to swim with the turtles. My government committed $100 million to improving the water quality uh, that flows onto the Great Barrier Reef. Um, we are doing everything we can. And just recently, UNESCO said that it is not in danger. So we're working together, we're all working as one because we know that the Great Barrier Reef is not just significant for Queensland or Australia, but it is a world uh, wonder of the world. So for this to be not listed in this uh, endangered list, what does it mean? Well, it means that uh, we have to continue to do everything we possibly can to enhance uh, the water quality. So many tourists uh, come to the Great Barrier Reef. It stretches thousands of kilometres uh, and you can see it from the Torres Strait all the way down to Bundaberg. From Brisbane, you could drive to Bundaberg and be out on the reef. It is, it is so accessible 
and there are so many parts of Queensland that you can go out on a boat and explore it. And with all this sunshine and great beaches and natural environment, do you think that's one of the reasons why Brisbane became the um, city for G20? I think so, um, and it was a very successful event. Uh, and we proved we could showcase to the world that Brisbane and Queensland is a, a fantastic destination. Uh, to have all of the world leaders here at the time, at the one time, uh, showcasing our great food, um, our wine to the, to the world leaders. Um, I don't think Brisbane will forget that. We're a very warm and friendly people. Uh, I believe that we can build on our strengths, our trade relationships uh, with China, and I expect that we will see double the number of tourists coming to Queensland over the next five years. My tourism minister and I, Kate Jones, are working very hard to attract more investment. We've got direct flights now in from China to the Gold Coast um, to Brisbane. Uh, we've got the Shanghai direct flight starting up uh, to Brisbane in the very near future. And we're working very closely to ensure that more tourists come here. But, but also, I want to see more Queenslanders travel to China as well. It's a friendship and we need to both work together at it. And also apart from tourism, how about the other pillar industry here in Queensland, for example, mining or agriculture? Yeah, so Queensland has been uh, built on a very strong uh, resources and agriculture industry. Um, our mining sector, especially, you know, our coal has um, been exported uh, to China for many, many years. And we will continue to have that, that, that strong connection. Uh, and agriculture, we have very, uh, very good farms here and new technologies to make sure that we can export our, our fresh produce over to China. And recently when I was in China, I was able to showcase our food uh, to some members of um, the Chinese uh, community, which was just wonderful. Yeah, but um, recently the global has been experiencing this downturn for the mining industry. Do you think there is like an industry transformation here also in Queensland happening? Oh, absolutely. So what we will see is that Queensland will still rely on our strong resources and our strong agriculture sector. And there's a lot of interest from Chinese companies uh, investing in Australia and especially in Queensland for our produce. So we will continue to do that. But we also need to diversify our economy. So innovation, I believe we can have even stronger partnerships with China. We share the same time zone. There's no jet lag when we fly between each other. Um, so we can diversify the economy, look at innovation, startups, uh, exchange ideas. And also, uh, we also have a very strong education system here as well. So we would like to see more Chinese students come here spend a year or uh, come here for, for six months, learn, learn the language, um, enjoy our culture and enjoy everything that Queensland has to offer. Yeah, talking about all these Chinese uh, people living here, can you tell us a bit more about the Chinese community here, what they have done to, um, what contribution they have made and oh. what the government has done to help support them? Well, uh, many years ago, I was the Minister for Multicultural Affairs. Oh. So I know how important the Chinese community is to Queensland. Um, the Chinese community is a proud community. It's a strong community. Uh, they have been here for generations now. Their children um, are in all of our key industries now across the state, whether it's in mining or agriculture, they're doctors and lawyers and pharmacists. They contribute strongly to our economy and our partnership is very important. That my door is always hope open to continue to foster our wonderful friendship. Maybe um, you can tell us a bit more about current investment here in, in Queensland. So how is the current trade and economic uh, cooperation uh, between Queensland and China now? And how about the Chinese investment here, here in Queensland? Yeah, well, it's worth billions of dollars. Uh, China is our largest trading partner. And that is why I believe it is very important for my ministers to be engaging with China. Uh, we need to foster those uh, relationships and it needs to be a two-way investment. Uh, recently, I took a trade mission to China and we have a lot of interest, um, especially in maybe expanding some of uh, the tourism products that are here, but also as well, 
more investment into our agricultural and mining sectors. Yeah. And there is a lot of interest. I held a North Queensland Economic Summit in Cairns just recently. Uh, we had over 250 investors uh, from around the world uh, coming to Cairns where I was able to showcase Queensland. And very shortly, I'll be hosting an innovation and investment summit. And I'd like to see a lot of interest from our Chinese community, both here and abroad, about the opportunities that Queensland can present to the world. Yeah, I can tell. I feel like Queensland's really focused on innovation. Yes, we have some of our uh, best and brightest minds here. Uh, we have uh, world-class uh, medical institutions here. Uh, Professor Ian Fraser uh, discovered the, uh, the Gardasil uh, vaccine. So that was a very important discovery, which is now helping women throughout the world. And there are more discoveries. We are on the brink of great things here, and we can partner with China and work together. Also with the um, FTA sign, what do you think it means to Queensland? Oh, the free trade agreement uh, means so many things for Queensland and Australia. First of all, it cements our very strong relationship, but it'll open up our markets uh, for more investment and for more exchange of, of produce. So over the coming years, uh, there's gonna be greater investment, more opportunities, and uh, we're gonna be here welcoming uh, the Chinese investors with open arms. So apart from trade, uh, what about other corporations like culture, education? And you mentioned about the um, sister state with China. Yes, well, our sister city uh, state relationship with Shanghai has been very, very important. Um, it's been in existence now for some 26 years, and I had the opportunity of meeting with the mayor of Shanghai on my recent visit. Uh, we believe these relationships are very important. We need to continue to have our strong cultural exchanges, but also too, we need to make sure that our educational exchanges are happening. Because if you're a young person visiting, uh, it will actually influence you in many years to come. When I was a very uh, young student, I had the opportunity on an exchange program to go to China. So that was many, many years ago. Uh, just recently, I was able to go back to China as Premier of this state. And the warm feelings that were expressed to me when I went there when I was 20 are even warmer now that I am Premier. So I believe that our spirit of cooperation is there and we will continue to work uh, with you over many, many years to come. Yeah, and I, I'm just wondering what's your impression about China? Which one is your favorite city? I don't, I can't <laughs> pick a favorite city, but uh, there is, uh, I went to Shanghai and Beijing mm -hmm. and so much has happened uh, since I was there uh, 26 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, the development uh, is wonderful. But what I love about China is that you also have your strong traditions mm -hmm. and your history and you need to keep that history and those traditions and it's lovely to see that coming through. But both Beijing and Shanghai are very large populations, um, the population of Australia in each city. Yeah. And uh, I think what the Chinese families would love about Australia are the wide open spaces, the beautiful beaches and the fact that they can still feel the warm and warmth and friendliness that they would feel at home. Yeah, so at last, I'm wondering what's your future perspective of the uh, relationship between China and Queensland? I think it's only going to grow from strength to strength. Uh, we will see uh, more educational programs in our schools. It is, it is my desire to see uh, more of our students in, China, in Queensland learning Chinese so they can have those skills for the future, that language skill for the future, so they can engage more with China. And any other plan apart from education? Education, uh, tourism, we wanna see more tourists here, more innovation and uh, more exports of our commodities uh, over to China. So I think there's a very bright future between uh, Queensland and China, and it can only get better and better each and every day. Thanks for your time today. Thank you very much.